Well folks, welcome back to the workshop. Today we have a big box of mixed cordless drills and for a pair. And I mean mixed, a wee bit of everything. Milwaukee, Dewalt, Kita, Tabo, and a bunch of high cookies. Let's get onto this lot, see what we can fix up. See if anything can be fixed up even. We'll start off with the oddball out of the grip. Makita not gone, we half inch. Battery says it's working. Battery's got two lights. Ah, there we go. That should be a simple enough one. If your brushless motor ever does that there, you know it's a broken wire. Works no problem, but then shuts off, but the motor keeps on running. See if it doesn't just stop dead. That's a brushless motor. Whenever you switch it off, the motor shuts down instantly with an electronic brake. But if there's a broken wire inside, the electronic brake doesn't engage. So the actual momentum keeps it running for a little bit. So it runs on a wee bit longer. If it does that, you know it's a broken wire. Tiny wee rotor on these things. They are a really nice, small, compact impactor. Always doing scaffolding, scaffolding stuff like that. Really like them because they're easy to carry about. Great up to about a 10 or 12 mil nut. I think it's this one here. It's actually this wee one that's clipped on. Pull back the clip. She slides out. She's seen the heavy work in it because the bolts are all rusted. So she's just out in the weather. Not good. Look at the stit of the wee wire in them. That's gotten pinched behind here. That should be just sitting up on top. So that's been sitting rubbing on the cover. So it's worn away the insulation and then broken actual wires inside. So that's our problem. Actual battery contacts are all tight. Yeah, that looks like our faulty wire. See if we can fix that up. There's still some meat left. If that breaks all the way down onto the resin. You're either going to have to dig out the resin to actually reconnect the wire or else replace the controller. The controller wouldn't be worth replacing. It looks like it's going to be a wee repair job because we have some wire left. So these are only little sense wires. There's barely any current going through them. But you don't get much room to play with. Let's connect it on up here. Yeah, we've got a wee bit. It'll bend over. You don't want to be going taking away too much cable, otherwise, you might leave the cable too short. Tidy it up, solder it together, and then we put a wee bit of heat shrink around it as well.
10, both of them. And then get them soldered together. Doesn't have to be pretty, just need to be connected. That should hopefully cure the problem. This is one thing I don't like about brushless motors is generally the leads for the controller and stuff like this are generally wild, wild thin. Very, very delicate for a power tool. Wouldn't kill them to make, a, make them a wee bit heavier. Need to make sure that wire is no longer sitting down here. Probably can't anyway. Because it's now shorter. And one of the things I do like about these Makitas is they actually have a 40 amp fuse built in just in case you ever go a wee bit overboard and you work at the death and get to the draw too much current or blow the fuse before it blows the board. Last thing, a little tiny roller just for helping the battery slide in and out on a lock. That should be it. And you should get in a fair bit of work because that battery is slack. Don't often get a slack battery in the Makitas. We steel plates to actually help stop wear and bushings all over the place to help pack out the battery, keep it nice and tight. She's definitely a slack. And it's not the battery, it is the tool. So they do eventually wear out. That's her. One Makita DTW. 285 I think it is up and running again just a wee broken wire inside soldered back together nice simple fix keeps this boy working for a while longer that's one done now next up we'll go with a Hikuki or now Hitachi there's an older one there's a sellative there Another 
connection problem. Right, just had a fall or something. It's cracked the housing and broken off the clips for holding the battery on. There and there. Drill's working. Just needs a new body. A plastic clamshell is going to be costing about 20, 20 or 30 euro to buy that there. It's not an expensive tool. You can probably buy that for what, 80 euro or so online. Plus it's the older Hitachi. We let that sit for now and see what the other ones are like. Because there's actually five of these in, in total. So if there's another one here that's not worth fixing, we can rub the body off of that. Instead of me buying a new body for it straight away. Because I also don't have one in stock. Yeah, see? Exact same model, exact same drill. This one doesn't work. This is a Hitachi as well, which is actually 2016. So she's not young. A motor. Actual brush holders. We brass strips for holding the brushes on the end. This one's actually completely gone. The brush is missing. And she's folded around inside the armature. So that motor's gone there. Everything else should be fine. Just need the motor. So we'll use this one. This is also a 2016. It would be nice if these were all separate faults. We just cannibalize one to fix them all. But it rarely works out that way. are actually soldered on to the motor itself so I don't want to go to the bother of unsoldering everything so we'll just do a total swap get rid of that and get rid of that Now we still have a switch and gearbox on this one. Not much in the way for battery attention. Only a little clip there. That's it. That's all that's holding the battery on. Not a good design. That would right enough. It'd be very easy to break that off. That's her. Which isn't great either, but can't do too much of that. So this is actually a body, and a switch was actually gone on this one. But it wouldn't be worth changing a switch. It's getting a free body that keeps it running. So that'll do this boy for now. Number three is one of the newer ones, a Hikoki. Exact same machine, just with a different name on it. This one's also dead. Just make sure it's not a battery. Nope. I 
uh, every brand has a cheap drill. I know this is very cheap looking. That's because it is just a DC motor. Nothing really to it. Very basic, cheap drill. Starting off, you normally get it in one of the, any of the big kits you buy. Every brand has a cheaper drill. This is a cookies. And the good thing about a cookie, you can actually buy all the parts inside the gearbox. Most brands actually don't. I think it's only a cookie and Dewalt will still do that. So if your gear casing strips out and you lose one of the gears, you can just replace that on its own. Motor, you can replace, but at 30 or 40 euro, might be a bit expensive. Switch is probably too expensive as well. And this one's the same. Make sure we brushes inside the DC motor are gone. And the bar itself is touching the armature. And the way these sit, one's going across here and one's across there. Brush is pushed in on top. Brushes are gone. This one instead of sitting across here is actually bent around. It's now sitting over the other side. So that motor is also gone. Just check the price of them just to make sure it's not worth fixing. Right, motor's costing me 40 or 50 euro. That's just not going to be worth a motor. On to the next. Same problem. Not as bad though. One side broken off. That's also a battery problem. It's not switching on LED. I'm going to guess and say that's going to be the same thing. They've all been bought at the same time, 2016. Same thing, motor's gone, brushes are worn out of it, so the actual DC motor is just worn out. Not going to be worth replacing it. can dismantle the motor if you want and try to fit new brushes to it. You can do it with a lot of difficulty but it's hardly worth it to be honest. When the DC motors actually ran through the brushes that brass brush holder generally starts touching the armature and shorts it out a wee bit too so when they work, work through the brushes completely the motor is generally worn out anyway. Plus there's bronze bushings on the front and back they can tend to wear very badly as well, so the armature is loose inside. Generally when the brushes are gone, the motor's gone. That's not going to be worth fixing either. And the last of the Hikoki Hitachis. It's actually a 2014, even older again. What are the odds it's something different? Same thing, brushes are gone. I don't know if you can actually see into that or not. You just see that we brass strip there with a hole in it. That's actually the brass brush holder. It's meant to be a brush pushed onto the end of that through that hole. That acts as a spring pushing down on the armature, pushes the brush down onto the armature. So that one there. It's actually on the wrong side. So she's sitting down this way. She's actually meant to be sitting over there. So then brushes are worn out. And she's flapped up and around. So that's not going to be worth fixing as well. But with four of these now needing a motor, maybe not one of them because that also needs a body, I'll actually just ring the customer and see if they actually want to put in four motors into these. Because at the end of the day, there are 2014 and 2016 drills. They've obviously been working, they're doing their job. They're actually in not that bad a condition. They've actually just worn through the brushes and the motor. So the motor's just worn out through work. Not to say they haven't done much work. They're going on 10 years old. They definitely have done their work. So for the price of them to replace four or five drills, 
might be better off just actually replacing the motor than all of them. You might save a wee bit of money that way. Ring them first and see what they want to do. Right, no answer from the customer. So for now, I'm just going to leave these to one side. See what he wants to do. They're going to be costing 80 euro to repair each one of them to put a motor onto it. To buy the motor, fat it, put it in the vat, roughly around 80 euro. Problem is, this particular one's not available anymore. Over here, the next one up is the newer brushless version. We small light drill again, but just a brushless motor. But cannot get them body only at the minute. The only way you can get them is with a kit, three amp batteries, and a charger. That makes them a wee bit more expensive to buy. Now, fair enough, he's going to be getting more batteries if it goes that way. But maybe they don't want to pay the extra money for more batteries. Their 2.5 batteries are still good. Maybe they don't want more batteries. They obviously have other tools because of three other brands here. This is just all the cookies. Probably have more of these because they were a better price at a stage. Probably went for more high tanties or high cookies because they were working out a better price. Because at a stage they were dirt cheap. They're still cheap, but they're not cheap to fix. 80 euro to fix it. What about 200 euro for a new brush dust drill kit? Have to wait for the customer to come back to me, see what he wants to do. So leave these ones for now. See if they want to fix them. If not, they'll be boxed up again. Next up out of the box is the Dewalt. Don't tell me that's the same. So they were 2016, 2014. This one, 2014 as well. So at last, my long T10 drill bit for the drill. Go back to the screwdriver. Now this again is certainly a brushed motor, it's an older Dewalt one, and looks like the same thing, brushes are gone, but instead of having a DC motor in this, Dewalt have used a universal motor, so you can replace the brushes. Quite a bit of work. It's quite dirty. Clean them out. I give the body a wee clean out. Brushes are totally worn out. Somebody's looking after these machines because they're not burnt, haven't been destroyed, they've just worn out. They're not overworking the machine at all. So these here haven't burnt, haven't damaged at all. It's not often you get cordless drill with no damage to the brushes at all that is just wear and that's the same on these ones here and these DC motors they haven't been burnt out they've just worn out get rid of that clean these give it a wee quick wipe down and we'll replace that brush ring all we need a new brush ring Brushes come fitted and all in the actual ring. Don't replace the brushes, you just replace the whole thing. Pull back your brushes, push on your armature. Just don't forget the little clamp for your bearing at the back. It pushes on, line them up, get ready to fit it. It has to be facing down the way. Stick your gearbox back on. A little wiggle to get it on. And push everything down, keeping everything in line. Make sure your field is dropped on correctly. Get the 
pull the gearbox back to get it to drop onto here. That's it. That's everything fitted. Screw it all back together again. Again, pull your gearbox out. Get that to fit. covers on and you just push it on make it easier to put the screws on for your gearbox these four this little dimple on the clutch selector ring on the gearbox just line that up with each hole individually and allows you to quickly and easily fit the screws Otherwise, if you don't use that, the screw doesn't line up. So we'll get it at an angle and miss the hole. And if you use this little dimple, it allows you to put the screw on flat. That should be her. Dewalt drill. Not unlike new. Just goes to show. Look after your tools, the parts wear out. Replace the brushes, whatever part. Keeps them running like new again. That's three out of seven so far. Next up, we're into the Metabo. This is a Metabo LT. SB18LT and she is well it's 2016 fully charged barely any power I would say that's a motor Brushes aren't totally gone, but they're not far off. Actually, they are gone. See the spring? I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but she's actually touching the bottom of the brass brush holder. So the spring goes through this wee hole here. It's actually bottom and bottoming out on the bottom of the hole. You can see it better in that one. The brushes are totally worn out and they're probably not making contact with the armature anymore. So that also needs a motor. So these are all been used a lot but lately. So they're actually running through the brushes instead of burning things out. Let's check how much one of these motors is. Alright, so that's a lot more expensive. That the fix is going to be costing 80 euro. Costing the customer 80 euro. That's costing me 80 euro. So there's still a markup, labour and VAT to be put onto that there. Not a hope is that going to be worth it. See that's a decent motor. But at 80 euro to buy, it's too expensive. And as well, actual parts and breakdown, not a great design. Motor one piece, gearbox one piece, and you have your chuck, and you have an entire switch assembly, all one piece. And then you get separately as a sweet lock button for your battery that's about it that and the forward reverse switch mind you this is an older drill I'm not sure if the rest of my tabo stuff would be the same sort of design setup as that but this particular one 
is more of a disposable drill. Once she breaks, it's not going to be worth fixing it. So that's just not going to be worth it. Yeah, you can hear it actually spluttering a wee bit. Tabo in general, they're not the greatest, but they're also quite well priced, so they're generally not too bad. Most of their stuff is quite well designed and can be fixed up, but this obviously isn't one. But between this and this one, that is a more expensive drill. This is a more cheaper drill. This one's actually a four brush motor. The Hitachi is actually a two brush motor. There's more power to this, also. This would be a more powerful unit. But when the brushes wear out, not much you can do. They're not going to be worth fixing. Now, last one out of this box is the Milwaukee. And this is also the youngest drill. 2020. Nothing. Now, this is the older model, the M18 BPD. Just a lighter one with the metal gearbox. But it's a brushed motor. Maybe, like the Dewalt, this might just have ran through a set of brushes. Yep, that looks like it. Set of brushes. Completely worn through all the brushes, just needs to be replaced. Yes, the inside of this machine is actually quite neat looking. This was cared for better than the Rewalt. Mind you, the Rewalt was 2014, this is 2020. One brush ring. These are actually better fixed than the Dewalt as well. Actually screwed on instead of a spade connector. A nice solid fixture. Don't mix up your leads. Will not harm the drill if you do. But your forward will be going in reverse and reverse will be going forward. Ain't the end of the world, but it's very, very annoying. So we just don't mix them up and it'll keep everything working the exact same way. Simple as that. Get this on again. You can lift up your springs and just hit them on to the top of the brush holder. Because it's hard holding up four brushes at the same time in order to put that armature on. That gives you the clearance. Your armature in, re engage all the springs. And just line it all up and drop it on. And that's it. And that should 
be us. That's her. A bit rougher than the Rewalt, but she still runs. It'll keep them going for a while longer, especially for all the price of a brush ring. That's her. As for the high cookies and high tachy, customer says go ahead and stick motors onto them. Still cheaper than buying a new drill, so go ahead and fix them. So that's what we're going to do now. Back to these ones. May not seem like it, but it's been a while. Four new motors on. There's the part number if you ever need them. But they are quite expensive. 80 or 85 euro each to fix each of these here. That's including the part, labor and vat. All four to be fixed. Now, I think it was this one that we already fixed. Swapped over the body, but the switch isn't good. I'm going to leave that as is. This one here, what we actually swapped over, as the motor is gone on this one as well, the switch might still be good. So, to get around that, I actually found a second hand body here. So, that one's not broken, so we'll just give him this here to make up the cost a wee bit, seeing as he's fixing all of them. We will actually fix that as well. I'll leave this one as is. So, four of these to fix. May as well just get started. Now, first things first, stick on the soldering iron. That's the only real tool we're going to need, apart from the drill. I hope none of these also need a switch. Because if it needs a switch and a motor, it's definitely not going to be worth it. Probably wouldn't be worth a switch on their own. So let's pray it's, they're all just motors. That's up there. Take it the motor doesn't have that plate. No. So I'll swap this over. Try to put them all on the same way. So the actual red mark on the bottom is for your plus cable, the red one. Just match them up. The solder's difficult to melt. Just give it a regular stuff and mix it together. Put more on to take it off. that and don't be shy plenty of solder on it
Now I hope that switch is okay because these are too expensive to be wasting. I'm never going to use these motors again to be quite honest. If that switch is faulty, that just leaves me with extra stock I'm never going to use. Moment of truth. Nice one. Better if I put it on the gear. That's her. That's one ready to go. Keep that battery in it. On to the next one. This one also has the broken body, so we'll replace the body in this. I'm taking all this one out. There's not much in them. Maybe you pull everything out. Put it under this one. Just give it a wee blow out with a compressor too. And make sure it's the same one. It does, yeah. That's two. You could wash out this gearbox if you wanted, but it's not going to make much odds. It's only a bit of dirt. The grease hasn't leaked out all over the place. The dirt's not going to make any odds. It's a draw at the end of the day and it's going back into a factory to work. And it's going to be dirty again within a day. So don't be worrying about a bit of dirt on a tool. Things to check. It's your forward reverse switch. 
make sure it's engaged in the actual mechanism. There's nothing more annoying than putting the drill back together again. When it all screwed down, once you put in your battery, you realize the forward reverse switch doesn't work. You have to dismantle it again to install the lever correctly. That's number two. On to number I'll crack that gearbox, but it should be alright. This old gearbox is held in place by the housing as well. So that shouldn't cause too much of a problem. See that's here locates into the body, that's pin here and that's pin here, so that's held and placed by the body itself. On both sides. If you'll clasp it actually just locking it together when you're putting the two halves together. You'll actually hold it together from the drills operating. Start. Number three. And the last one. Number four. When you are opening these up, do be careful. So once you actually have the motor taken off, the sweet white plate removed, she clips on here, that's actually holding on your gears 
all your internal cogs. So once you pull that off, everything in here can come out. So if you tap it up, you're going to have a mess. Make sure you take it off carefully and hold it up. Just to save it going flying and you having to put everything back together again. It's a lot easier just to keep it in one piece. Orientating that so the red lead is at the top, same way as here. Nice one. That spark that you see is just the actual brake engaging on new brushes on a new motor. After a little bit of use you'll start seeing that less and less. Just because it's new you're going to see it more pronounced but once they bed on you'll not see it as much. That's her. Another Hitachi. Cordless drill repaired. That's her. One of four Hitachi drills or high cookie, all with new motors. So that's four high cookies with new motors or Hitachis. One just got going again. Switch isn't that great anyway. It didn't get a motor, but it's still running. Dewalt with a new brush ring, Milwaukee with a new brush ring, a Makita with a wiring repaired, and a Metabo that also has a bad motor but is way more expensive to fix, so that one's not worth fixing. That's that, one big bunch of drills all fixed up, ready to go. Thanks for watching, folks.
hope you enjoyed the video give us a wee like and a follow if you're enjoying the tool repairs and if you really like them hit subscribe there or you can also become members cheers thanks for watching